Tesla may be on the verge of a triple disruption. Leaked moves at Giga Nevada. Bold aluminum ion battery claims. 700 mile range, 5 minute charge, reported. And a $799 Pi phone tied to Starlink. Real breakthrough or coordinated hype? We'll unpack the evidence and what it could actually mean. Let's dive right in. In. For over a decade, lithium has powered every step of the electric revolution. From Tesla's early Model S to the mighty Semi, lithium was the heartbeat of clean mobility. But now, that era might be ending. Quietly, but decisively. Because somewhere inside Giga Nevada, Tesla engineers are preparing something that could rewrite the entire battery playbook an aluminum ion cell powerful enough to make lithium obsolete. At first, it sounded like another internet rumor. But after months of leaks, equipment sightings, and insider reports, one thing became clear. Tesla isn't experimenting anymore. They're building. Let's start with the reality. Lithium is running out of room. Prices have surged nearly 500% in the past three years, while supply remains concentrated in just a handful of countries, Chile, China, and Australia. This means EV prices, no matter how efficient Tesla gets, are chained to the volatility of a single mineral. And here's where aluminum changes everything. It's cheap, abundant, and globally distributed. More than 8% of Earth's crust is aluminum nearly everywhere you dig. In other words, Tesla wouldn't just be building better batteries, they'd be breaking free from global dependence. So when new footage showed massive press machines being moved into Giga Nevada, machines too large for lithium cell production, analysts started connecting the dots. Tesla might be gearing up for something the world's never seen before. According to insider sources, Tesla's new pilot line, labeled a One Cell, is being set up in a newly expanded section of the Nevada factory. These machines aren't standard lithium lines. They're adapted for high-density aluminum ion chemistry. The claim? Each aluminum ion carries three positive charges, compared to lithium's one, effectively tripling the energy flow per ion. Combined with new graphene-based cathodes, that means higher energy, lower weight, and faster transfer speed. That's why early lab numbers are so staggering. 700 watt-hours per kilogram energy density. 5-minute full charge. 15,000 cycles. On paper, that's a 35-year battery lifespan. Long enough to outlive your car, your phone, maybe even you. Skeptical? So were most analysts, until they saw where Tesla was investing. Tesla's move isn't random. The aluminum ion breakthrough fits perfectly into Musk's long-term playbook. Total ecosystem integration. Cars, energy storage, communication. Now, smartphones. When news broke about the Tesla Pi phone, many dismissed it as a side project. But sources say, it's much more than that. The Pi isn't just another smartphone. It's the first real-world product powered by the A1 aluminum battery. And if that's true, it's a genius move. Instead of testing new chemistry in cars, where failure is costly, Tesla starts small, with a device that consumers charge daily. The Pi phone becomes both a testing ground and a marketing weapon. With four days of battery life, 5-minute charging, and free global Starlink internet, Tesla isn't competing with Apple or Samsung. It's changing what a phone means. Now, look at the bigger pattern. The semi-truck, now nearing 800-mile range. The $25,000 compact EV, delayed for years due to high battery costs. The Pi phone, a gateway to Starlink and Tesla's entire AI ecosystem. All three share the same root problem, energy storage. All three could share the same solution, 
aluminum ion. This isn't a coincidence, it's a chain reaction. If Tesla controls the next generation of batteries, they don't just beat competitors, they control the flow of global energy. That's why Musk once said, we're not just building cars, we're building the machine that builds everything. But how real is this, technically? The aluminum ion cell uses graphene and metal oxide cathodes, which allow ions to move faster with less heat buildup. Each cell generates less internal resistance, meaning ultra-fast charging doesn't damage the structure. Unlike lithium, aluminum forms a protective oxide shell that stabilizes the battery and prevents dangerous dendrite growth. That's the main reason aluminum ion batteries don't catch fire, even under heavy load. And the life cycle is off the charts. Where lithium batteries degrade after about 2,000 charges, aluminum ion can survive 10,000 to 15,000 cycles while maintaining above 90% capacity. To put that in human terms, imagine charging your Tesla daily for 30 years and the battery still performs like new. Here's where things get real. The cost of lithium batteries sits around $130 to $150 per kilowatt hour. Aluminum ion could drop that to as low as $40. That's not a small tweak. It's a paradigm shift. It means Tesla can finally build the long-promised $25,000 EV without losing profit. It means the semi can compete head-to-head -head with diesel trucks and win. And it means the Pi phone can launch at $799 while carrying cutting-edge tech and still remain profitable. Because in the end, every Tesla product runs on one thing, energy economics. And this time, the math is on Musk's side. If Tesla's aluminum ion batteries reach mass production, the impact will ripple through entire industries. Oil companies lose their grip as long-haul trucking goes fully electric. Mining giants dependent on lithium and cobalt face collapse. Telecom providers see a new rival in Starlink-enabled devices that bypass traditional infrastructure entirely. And here's the irony. The same metal used in soda cans could end up powering cars, phones, and satellites. For the first time in decades, one company isn't just reshaping an industry, it's restructuring the hierarchy of energy itself. Of course, critics are not convinced. They argue that aluminum ion technology has existed in labs for years, yet no one's managed to scale it. They point to challenges like cold weather efficiency, electrolyte degradation, and limited commercial validation. But here's the difference. Tesla has scale. They already manufacture millions of battery packs, run multiple gigafactories, and dominate the supply chain. If anyone can industrialize this, it's the company that built a trillion-dollar EV ecosystem from scratch. And let's not forget, these are the same engineers who made reusable rockets a reality when everyone laughed at the idea. This isn't about one phone or one battery. It's about a global pivot, from dependency to autonomy. For Tesla, aluminum ion technology represents freedom. Freedom from lithium mining monopolies. Freedom from slow charging infrastructure. Freedom from short battery lifespans. And maybe even freedom from today's definition of technology itself. If your phone, your car and your house all share one sustainable self-charging energy source, then Tesla's no longer a car company. It's an energy civilization builder. So the next time someone says, it's just another Tesla rumor, remember this. Every revolution starts as one. And if the A1 battery is real, it won't just change how we drive. It'll change how humanity powers everything. And here's the truth. Tesla's aluminum ion breakthrough isn't just a step forward. It's the start of a new energy era. If this technology truly delivers 700 miles per charge, 5-minute refueling, and decades of durability, 
It could reshape not only the EV world, but how humanity powers everything, from homes to future missions beyond Earth. This is exactly why Tesla isn't chasing trends. It's building the foundation for what comes next. And as this revolution unfolds, one thing is certain. The energy race has officially restarted. If you found value in this analysis, make sure to like the video, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to Tech Revolution for more deep dive insights like this. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss the next big shift in technology and space innovation. Because at Tech Revolution, we don't just report the news, we break down the future, one breakthrough at a time.